Adrian. Welcome to my channel. Today is Top 5 Wednesday. If you're new to Top 5 Wednesday, I will leave all the links down in the description box where you can go find it and check it out for yourself, as well as link to any of my other Top 5 Wednesday videos in case you're interested. Today's Top 5 Wednesday topic is Top 5 Books It's Best to Go Into Without Any Kind of Synopsis. We've all done it. We've all heard too much about a book that's kind of spoiled it for us after the fact when we're finished reading the book we realize, hmm, I wish I would have went into this blind. So I have today five books that I personally went into blind and I appreciated it and I would really recommend you going into them blind if you have not read them yet. Because of the whole going in blind theme of this week's Top 5 Wednesday, I'm not going to tell you anything about the books except maybe a one sentence just to give you the gist. But really, you shouldn't know any more than that. As usual with my top five Wednesday books, these are in no particular order. First up is The Sudden Appearance of Hope by Claire North. The only thing that I knew going into this book, and therefore I suggest you only know about, is that Hope is a girl who is not remembered. You will have a conversation with her, and when she walks away, you will have no recollection of her or having a conversation with her. That was the only thing that I knew about this book going in, and I have to say, Clear North's synopsis for her books really are one-liners, and she gives you no information about the book except the general idea. And that's what I had with this one, and it was exactly what I needed. I will say this book was completely different than what I expected it to be, not even close to what I had imagined, but I still really enjoyed it nonetheless, and I appreciated it the most because I went into it blind. Next up is a book that I recently read, and that's Dark Matter by Blake Crouch. I've mentioned this book a couple times recently on my channel because I absolutely loved this book. This is a thriller, and generally speaking, I think you should go into thrillers as blind as possible because this is the best way to do them. So the only thing that I knew about going into this book is that it's about a guy named Jason Destin, and he is abducted from his family, and when he wakes up after being knocked unconscious, his family isn't his family, his job isn't his job, everything is different and he doesn't know why. So you're basically trying to figure out what's going on. And that's all I knew in this book. This book was much more complex than that, but that's all I knew and that's all I needed to know and that's all you should know. But you should read this book because this is my favorite book of the year so far. Another book that I went into pretty much blind was Mistborn by Brandon Sanderson. I knew that this book had a magical system where people needed to consume metals in order to be able to produce magic. That is all I knew. I knew nothing else. And that's the best way to do this story. This world is very complex, but not complex in a bad way. Complex as in like brilliant masterpiece kind of way. And it's really great to just kind of discover what's going on without knowing anything about it because you can't, you're not really expecting anything. And that's, that's the way to do it with this one. This, this series was so good. I'm almost done with The Hero of Ages. I'm gonna finish it this week, but I finally want to get done this trilogy so I can do a trilogy review, and I thought it was fantastic. Next up is a book that I thought that the synopsis on Goodread and on the book ruined it for me personally. In the synopsis, it tells you one of the events that happened that I assumed was like right in the beginning of the book, so it had nothing to do with the story, but the thing that happened, it happened like a third of the way into the book. So I think it would have been so much better if we just didn't know about it. If you are one of those people who are curious to know what is actually going on and why I didn't like the synopsis, I do have a review series for Carbox. I did it as a read-along at the beginning of the year. So I talked a little bit about why I feel that way there, because I can't really tell you now, because I would be ruining the book, totally defeating the purpose of this video. But anyway, I don't like the synopsis of this book that's given. I thought it kind of ruined it a little bit for me personally. So. And lastly is a duology that I just finished recently, and that is Unraveling by Elizabeth Norris. This book, Unraveling, and the second book is called Unbreakable. And I have a spoiler free review coming up for these in about a week, I think. The only thing I knew about going into this book is that it's about a girl named Janelle, and she dies. And when she wakes up after dying, she finds out that she needs to help one of the guys from her high school to save the world. It's just 24 days to do so. Any kind of synopsis of a book that says this is about so-and-so and so-and-so and, -so -and, -so and she dies is an automatic hook for me. But you really shouldn't know anything more about this book. This again is a very complicated story and it keeps you guessing the whole time. But this one, know that she dies, know that it's the gloom and doom end of the world kind of book, 
and know that it is really good and go read it. All right, those are my top five books that I went into blind that I did not really read that much of a synopsis for or didn't get much of a synopsis for anyway. And I think you should too if you haven't read them already because it really does make the experience better, in my opinion anyway. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. If you haven't already, I would love for you to subscribe. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Bye.